Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Incubator booth at NeoHeart 2024. We're here with Dr. Brittany Graham from Houston. Brittany, thank you so much for dropping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, and so you are a um, pediatric cardiologist, is that correct? I am a cardiologist, neonatologist, and currently doing fetal imaging. All right. Very busy. You do Very not busy. want to go into any practice. You just want to keep <laughs> training. That's not true. This is the last year. <laughs> the last step. Actually, can you tell us a little bit about what that pathway looks like? So I um, I started with pediatric cardiology at Mayo Clinic, and I really love um, neonatal physiology and fetal imaging and being a part of families' journeys from diagnosis for congenital heart disease into the NICU. Yeah. And then the complexities um, within neonates, both with congenital heart disease and just from a hemodynamic standpoint. So I thought right. with the cardiology, um, that gives me a stronger basis of hemodynamics and physiology to take care of that population. And then um, with the NICU and the fetal imaging, I hope to be able to be part of these families' journeys from fetal diagnosis into the ICU. So I did cardiology at Mayo. I did neonatology at UT Houston. And now I'm working with UT Houston's fetal center doing a fetal imaging year. And it's one, it's one. Three, year, three years, two years, one year. Three years, two mm -hmm. years, one year. Wow. Um, and on the, and, and pediatrics? Yes, I did pediatric residency. So, yeah, so that's so that's uh, yeah, because I think we missed that. Yeah, pediatrics <laughs> yeah. residency. So I did that in Tennessee. Um, yes. On on the on the forefront of of this kind of training, most people would be discouraged, like, oh my god, no. But you're coming to the end of that training, and I want you to share with the audience maybe how what are your thoughts having almost completed this journey um, about your level of satisfaction and mm -hmm. how happy maybe you are having done this because we talk a lot about uh, what are my thoughts about going into additional training, but we, we rarely get the chance of speaking to people like you who are really completing and who may, may have a positive message for mm -hmm. people. Now who that you're a sub, 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 <laughs> sub specialist. Well, I will say um, it is a challenging journey, and that's yeah. why I'm really grateful for NeoHeart, because when we come here, we meet people from all over with all different training paths that have met their own challenges. So I feel like it's a forum where we're able to talk to each other, support each other. Um, I don't have any regrets. It's been a long training path, mm -hmm. but I feel like that knowledge is so important. And in the end, my goal is to better serve patients and their families, and I'm going to be able to do that. I hope that this becomes a more normal path mm -hmm. and perhaps we're paving a way mm -hmm. so that it might not be as long as of a journey. Yeah, so they can integrate some of these blocks together a little bit more and maybe make this a more efficient form of training. That's maybe. what I'm hopeful for. Yeah. I hope that as more of us pursue these longer paths, we can create integration and, and make it better for those coming behind us. I want to I wanna, uh, emphasize something you just said because better serving families sometimes can be understood as a very general term, but it's such an important mm -hmm. message you're giving from the standpoint of when you're presented with a problem or with an issue that a family is facing, your training gives you the ability to do something so much better. And I think to me, if you're thinking about it, it's like really trying to put in a screw with a, with a hammer, but with that additional training, you're able to do something so precisely well and you feel like you have control over the situation, right? And I think I think that has no no price. It doesn't. And that vision and that hope yeah. and that's what's helped me maintain my dedication and energy. Very cool. Well, I think what's so so unique about what you're able to do, right? We each bring a piece of the conversation to the family. But I can imagine when a family meets with you, I mean, you have the, for sure, the thousand foot view across numerous transitions of care, um, which are really vulnerable times for you know, the patient, obviously, but for the entire family. So what sorts of settings do you think are optimal for, for someone like you? Well, uh, I think people similar to me, everybody's doing a little bit different. If mm -hmm. I had my dream job, yeah. I would have a combination of being in a critical care setting and then also in a fetal outpatient setting mm -hmm. so that I can be with these families from the beginning, help them transition into that um, ICU setting and outpatient follow-up. So yeah. kind of the full full spectrum for them. I think that's a beautiful vision. And I think now more than ever, especially in some states more than others, <laughs> uh, I mean, there's going to be really a need um, for, for people like you taking care of these complex um, 
fetal anomalies, congenital heart disease um, that are now going to come to the NICU. Maybe they, they mm-hmm. wouldn't have in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think definitely there there is a growing need. You walked in with a poster? I did. What are you presenting? Uh, I am presenting from a patient that uh, a complex case from my knee training. We actually had a, a patient transferred to us for pulmonary hypertension, but it ended up that the mom was a poorly controlled diabetic and there was severe hypertrophy. Mm-hmm. And so we really had to change our management strategies to support that patient. And we had ended up u- utilizing vasopressin in oh. the setting of a um, severe hypertrophic cardiomyopathy secondary to poorly controlled diabetes. So it's about the case and the patient's journey. Yeah, lots to talk about vasopressin these it's a days. Right huh? star. Yes. Audrey Eber from uh, Canada and then uh, Adrian Bischoff talked about it recently mm-hmm. on the podcast. So that's really cool. Brittany, thank you so much for dropping by. Yeah, and it's my pleasure. Congratulations so on your on your uh, early career so far and uh, best of luck with uh, your uh, work and the rest of the conference. Thank you so much. Appreciate thank you. it. Thanks.